get that epic camera shot. Hey gals, it's Most Class Gamer. Welcome back to more Let's Play Barnyard. In the last episode, we found out about pigs disturbing appetite. I have no idea why I said gals instead of guys in my intro, but you know what? Who cares, okay? Because I don't say that enough, okay? I just don't say it enough. I need your help. I need you. I want you to check up on the three Jersey cows, Eddie, Egg, and Bud. They, meant, they are meant to be watching the border down Dankweed Pond. They dozed off, put on your sunglasses, and get them a squirt to it, wake them up. Ordinarily, I don't condone squirting other cows, but in their case, I'll make an exception. Consider it done, Ben. Consider it done! I don't know who you were asking for help. It was either me or a clipboard, because he kept on... He kept on pointing to it as he was talking to us. Isn't it weird? Every time Ben talked, in this game, he always points at his clipboard. I just don't get... Am I standing on my bike? I did not know you could stand on your bike. I did not know that. I did not know you could stand on your bike. You just walk up right on it. What the... Oh, sure, now it's not working. Whatever. I don't care. It was a glitch or something. So yeah, Eddie, Egg, and Bud, they are the Jersey Cows that were mentioned in the last episode. Get to one of the notes, I'm spoiled by one of the notes. Um, I'm gonna show you guys a new, another mechanic of the game in this episode. I, all right. I'm sure plenty of you probably know what it is, because uh, if you play this game as much as I have, anyone who's watching this video has played this game as much as I have. They Sorry, I had to hit the cord on the sound recorder thing. Which is why I'm using a record commentary. Ew. I like how he says it. Oh. Oh. Okay. What do you sound like? What? He doesn't say anything. What's the big idea? Eddie's the red guy, the redneck. Ig is the yellow, yellow belly. Uh, but is the the cow, the guy? Okay, the guy. Ben told me to I'd find a bunch of sleeping beauties here. We'll deal with you later. Nobody messes with the Jersey cows. Yeah. yeah. See ya. See ya. Wouldn't wanna be you. see you. Okay, watch. They are magic. Just watch. Watch what happens when we turn the camera around. Okay, okay, I'll talk to you guys late. What the hell? They disappeared? They disappear right when you turn the camera around. It's, it's creepy. It's, it's just, it's creepy. Root, I want to see you tonight in the barnyard. Root is the rooster who hangs around where Hannah is. So he is new character that we're meeting. He's in the movie, as well as pretty much every character in this game, except for the main character that you play as. Yeah, I don't know why I said gals in the beginning of the video. It's because I guess I was just tired of saying guys all the time because. What I do, I say guys all the time. Because I assume that only guys watch my videos. Not to be sexist or anything, which I'm not. Trust me, I'm not. But, yeah. That's pretty much what I assume is that only guys watch my videos. Okay, so, Root is the first night, night mission of the game. You can only access this mission at night. Okay, we're gonna... Do something new starting this episode. You know, I've been wanting to meet you. My name is Rudd. I got a business proposition. I hear you're a city cow. We are about to start opening the barn at night for everyone. How about going into... 
What? What? Me? What? I'm a guy! You gotta be kidding me. Well, that means lots of parties in county. Don't say... Don't say yes, Aaron. Okay, don't say yes. I'm talking to myself when I say Aaron, but... Yeah. Root has the... He throws the wrong kind of parties, trust me. That's my cow. You can buy furniture, decoration, games, and equipment. Kind of equipment, huh? They're open every night. They go for hill across the bridge. They'll deliver whatever you buy. Be sure to come on back and check it out. Here's 500 gopher bucks. 500? That's a lot. Let's enjoy the gopher to open the shop for you then. Go inside and buy a pool table. Can do. Excellent. Come back and see me when you're done. Uh, this game seriously neat has some issues sometimes, especially with the dialogue with the characters. It just creeps you out sometimes. First unusual fact about this game: How do bulls have udders? What were what were the game makers thinking? You don't give. Talking about it. A new customer! Hey, I'm Joey. Pleased to meet you. Okay. Customer for what? So here's the gopher underground. Find importers of human goods and all, of all kinds. I wonder what some of those kinds are. Step inside my associate, Freddy. Frankie. Sorry, Frankie. Will assist you with all your needs. Come by often. We're open all night. Creepy. You seem like a useful sort of cat. I might have some work for you later. Game! Don't be a stranger. What is wrong with you? Strange is right for you. We got a new ship for what? So yeah, the first time you come in here, you will only be able to buy the pool table. That's it. First time you're in here, you're limited to just the pool table. But yeah, there are six categories of items. And five of those are for the night barn, and I'll show you the night barn here later. You also got some personal items. First, there's three bikes that you... different kinds of bikes you can buy. Um, basically, new bikes, they give... They... They give you more stamina, I think. Now. You can also buy some ingredients if you have the trouble buying them yourself. Um, you can also sell some stuff like. Don't be shy. sell now. all the ingredients I have, just as an example. Everybody loves a spender. Only one dollar for me, seriously. There, I sold all my stuff. Which was a waste of time, but still, yeah. Yeah, pool table is all we can buy for now. First time we go in there. Second time we go in there, we'll be able to buy some other things. Talk to Root again, because now we got the pool table. Oh, you are my main cow. Don't creep me out like that. This night barn is now open. Pig is making mocktails. You can bring them in greens, just like in the kitchen. The gophers can sell you lots more items to put in the barn. If the joint gets popular, I'll have some special rewards for you. 
such as, such as this. Here you go, have this gold rush token. Woohoo, I think. What does it do? You seen that special tree stump near the tractor shed? It's actually a gold rush machine. This token gives you one use of it. Press A to insert your token, the trail coins will appear. You have a limited amount of time to collect them all. Okay, Aaron, I bet I I better get back to business. We'll set up the pool table downstairs. Duke wants to challenge you to a game. Let's get this party started! Okay. Okay, so, um, you can, in order to get to the night barn, first we have to go off screen, let the character teleport there. Bill! Bill is actually the guy who tells the story in the, in between chapters, so, yeah, he's the one telling the story. Right this way. Don't you recognize his voice from episode one? Yeah, he's the one who attends the night barn, lets the, the animals in. But yeah, Night Barn. Um, the Night Barn's a What did I say? I don't know what's wrong with my voice today. I I just keep saying things I don't mean to say. Talk to Root here. Yeah, this is the Night Barn, by the way. We got the ship. That's some sweet. Looks good, Root. Looks good. So it's gonna looking better. How would you like to be known as the number one party animal? You know I would. All right then. Here's the deal. You keep on buying stuff from the Gophers. Come and see me in the barn at night, and I'll tell you how complete this barn is getting. For example, right now we are two percent complete. When we are one hundred percent complete. You'll be crowned number one party animal. To be 100% complete, you have to buy, buy all the, all the, all the items from five of those categories in, at the Gopher Underground. In the, that means all the categories except for the personal items. And number one party ammo is another requirement to get 100% in this game. And... Buying stuff for the night barn and, and slowly making it a better place is probably my favorite part of this game. Is it? I also promise you some rewards. Whenever you buy something an animal really likes, I'll have something special for you. Duke really, really digs the pool table. So here's your reward. Milkweed. Uh, what's milkweed? It's weed! It's this game's equivalent of weed! They put drugs in this game! What? What is wrong with you, Nickelodeon? Paramount. It's a vine that grows really fast. God, why do they put drugs in a game like this? Seriously. Kids, don't do drugs, okay? It's strong enough to climb. Gophers have dug holes over the farm. Find one near the water tank in the dandelion meadow. Just A to plant your milkweed in a gopher hole. And you have to squirt it with milk. Keep squirting it and it will keep growing. When it's fully grown, it will flower. When that happens, you can climb it just like a ladder. Keep buying stuff from the barn and I'll have plenty more rewards for you, partner. Creepy. Sounds good to me. Later, cow. Stop referring to us as your partner, okay? We only agreed to go into partnership with you for these parties, okay? For this small party here. What kind of party is this? As you do buy more stuff for the barn, it will get for the night barn out. Night barn! Why do I keep on saying night barn? Why? something else. Why well, keep on saying something else? I don't know. Anyways, in the next episode, we're gonna take a, a 
closer look at the night barn. Learn a few more things about it. And oh yeah, and also we're gonna we're gonna play a game of pool with with a uh, Duke. Yeah, Duke, the dog. Down here in the cellar, the barn, which is where all the game, the fun. This is where all where they put all the games and all the board games and card games and stuff. So, so yeah, in the next episode we'll start off by challenging Duke to a game of pool, and then we'll go from there. So thank you for watching episode four. Let's play barnyard. It's been Multicast Gamer signing out.